Good morning, it's Wellness Wednesday, and I figured it might be a little important for us to talk about sleep because the joy of December is upon us and many of us are rushing around um, and sometimes not getting enough sleep in. And so I wanted to talk about that as our goal for this month is not to gain weight. So one of the ways that we can protect our body from gaining weight is making sure we get adequate sleep. So what happens to our body if we don't get adequate sleep in about a day's worth? So let's say about 24 hours. Well, we start to decrease our blood flow to our major organs and our metabolism starts to slow down. So you might even notice that, you know, you're a little bit more hungry the next day. Your cortisol levels and your insulin levels, they didn't normalize. There's this great little seesaw that happens between all of our hormones. And so already at 24 hours, that can be disrupted. And so guess what? One night's good sleep and a good or a good nap can help reset it. And I'm going to keep saying that each time we kind of talk about lack of sleep. You, can, this is something that can be reset quickly. So what happens at 48 hours with lack of good sleep? Well, our immune response starts to decrease, and that leads to possibility of getting an infection even earlier. Um, so think about that when we're traveling. Those of you who are going to travel for these holidays, um, you know, try to take a nap if one night sleep is disrupted. If at that 48 hour marker, make sure your nutrition helps that immune system because it's going to be decreased if it's been 48 hours with poor sleep. If we go past 72 hours of poor sleep, that's when we can actually hook up little electrodes and watch an EEG and you'll notice how many changes are happening in that in our brain waves. We can start to have some visual hallucinations. We can um, start having some altered consciousness and really past that time, past 96 hours, that is not good for our body. And that's when we can really crash. And so I wanted to just talk through that. Most of us are kind of in that one night bad sleep. But those of you who have chronic insomnia and issues, let's talk about that too, because that's leading to a lot of health issues. And guess what? Poor sleep can lead to diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. Remember how I talked about metabolism issues? Those were all metabolism issues right now that I was talking about, which lead to weight gain. So they're all connected. So we want to make sure that we're getting adequate sleep. We want to be consistent. So try to find a time that you go to bed every night and you get up in the morning um, around that same time. Now, you know, weekends can be fun. You might have something where you stay out later. Try to catch up by staying, you know, being able to sleep in a little bit longer. And it's really important to have a wind down time where uh, electronics are turned off, emails kind of stop answering, um, maybe turn off the TV and read. So have a wind down time that helps your brain go, okay, it's time to sleep. Melatonin is great um, to use if you're having a little bit of a hard time because our brain naturally stimulates melatonin before it's time to go to sleep to say, hey, it's time to go to sleep. There are a few other supplements that are great at that time. Magnesium is great. GABA, um, L-theanine. There are a few other little tricks of the trade that we can do too if you're having some issues. And like I said, and like you know, I like to try uh, non-pharmaceutical things first if possible, and it does matter which brand. So with that, I leave you happy sleeping. Uh, make sure you uh, get that adequate sleep so we can decrease the chance of weight gain during this holiday season. Take care.